and welcome to Trail Trials, the video review section of irunfar.com. My name is Travis Lyles, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new Hoka Speed Goat 6. Let's check it out. All right, so let's start off with the basics here. This is the sixth iteration of a very well loved shoe in the Speed Goat. It is a five millimeter heel to toe drop, uh, which is one higher than the previous generation. It comes in at 9.8 ounces in a men's size nine. That is a half ounce lighter. According to the website, it has a different upper, it has a different midsole, it has a different tongue, and it has a different outsole. So what we're gonna do is take a look at all those and see what this shoe is all about. So let's start off by talking about the outsole. So if you check out the outsole here, it looks fairly familiar. And by that, I mean, this is a, a very familiar lug patterning. This is a very familiar look to what the previous Speed Goats also were. So this uses Vibra Mega Grip and also has the traction lugs. And if you look really close, you can see these kind of little dots all around here. Those are supposedly adding more traction. And I guess by just virtue of extra surface area, that's what's going on here. So you get a little bit of extra grip sort of on a 360 type of thing by, by having those extra teeth. From a patterning standpoint, you've got reverse lugs for braking when you're going downhill. You've got forward facing lugs when you're going uphill. The major difference between this and the previous version of the five is a slightly different pattern. So you can see a little bit of changes in terms of these channels here of the midsole poking through. There's a little more exposure. You had the holes and the dots on this side, um, but you know, just a little bit different look and feel as it relates to it. Performance wise, I don't think it's even noticeable uh, in my opinion and in my wear time. Um, Hoka says that this is meant to be more like a hoof. And I guess that's sort of that fork maybe here, uh, but in performance, I, I don't think you're gonna notice anything. If you've liked what previous Speed Goats did for rock and for wet and for mud and for just kind of all the things that I think the Speed Goat does well, which is uh, in this type of tread pattern and compound, I think this shoe is, is not going to disappoint. And with five mil lugs, they are deep enough to grip, but not so deep that if you do have road running or more of a kind of a, a hard kind of surface, you don't notice these lugs kind of poking back through. As it relates to the midsole, I'd say that's one of the major updates here for this shoe. And, and the reasoning is, is it's a new compound. What that compound is, is supposed to be a little bit lighter. This shoe is a half ounce lighter overall. So some of that again, maybe in the tread, less tread, some of that maybe here in, in the midsole as well. And it is a single density foam all the way around, just like previous generations. So I'd say from sort of the step in and the feel of like putting this shoe on, it still has the rocker. The drop moved up from a four to five, but I don't feel like it's even noticeable in step in height and sort of just standing in the shoe. The thing you're gonna notice is the firmness of this. And especially when you compare it to something maybe like the Mafate Speed 5 or even previous versions of the Speed Goat. This has a firmer feel. It has more of a kind of a rebound feel to it. Specifically, when you're running on harder surfaces, you can kind of, one, feel a little less dampening of the vibration, uh, but also you get a little more return when you're doing turnover. So firmer midsole uh, on, on this shoe, but in terms of fit and feel, I think the, the ground feel is, is the same as it's been in the past. Where the major updates have come from this shoe as it relates to the five to the six is in the upper. And just for reference sake, I'm gonna pull up two versions here, and that is the four, the five, and the six. And if you kind of take a look at, at these, what you're gonna see is there's just kind of more going on in the fours and the sixes as it relates to the upper. Uh, the five got very, very stripped down. They used this engineer mesh. There was no internal cages or external cages. And so lots of floppiness on this, really had to crank it down to get sort of a fit. And it, it just never, in my opinion, held well for really technical terrain, downhill running. I just always felt like my foot was shifting around a lot, especially when I compared it to something like the four. When we pull the four in, you're gonna have some, you're gonna notice some things here. And, and what I'll call out is out here on the four, you had this external caging that sort of locked your laces down and, and 
and allowed that midfoot to lock down a lot better. You don't see that externally here, but they exist and you can feel them on the inside of the shoe. And probably the easiest kind of visual of it uh, is maybe this spot right here uh, where you can see kind of dirt on both sides. There's a little bit of strapping that's going on inside of this shoe that takes the lacing system and sort of brings that down to the midsole. And there's more of that on the outside or the lateral side of the shoe as well, where there's a little bit of, of caging on the inside so that your foot, when you put it in there and you pull the laces, instead of it just being like fabric holding it in, there's a little bit of extra mechanical strapping that's in there that, that keeps your foot in, in place. It's not as aggressive as the external strapping on the fours, but it's definitely more noticeable. Your foot stays locked in uh, with that. And then the secondary piece that's adding to that locked in feel is the upper is far, far less stretchy versus again, this, this type of stuff that you can just see has a ton of flex in it. You can really kind of move that all around. This is a much more structured upper. It's very much a more lockdown feel. So again, if you move from the four to the five and, and didn't have that, you're getting it back in the six. A couple other things to call out here that, that are different is a padded tongue. So it's only really padded sort of from about the lace keeper here in the middle up, but it adds some additional padding. Uh, and it's really most prevalent up here at the top, sort of where you're gonna lock your laces down. And you can see that little bulbous piece here, pillow of extra. And what that does is when you're tying your laces, you can see that the top of those laces are going directly over this. It's a little small. I'd like it to come up a bit higher, especially for me with a narrow heel. I use this back eyelet. Most of sort of this top of your foot pressure is dispersed, especially at this lockdown point at the top. As it relates down here into the toe box, the toe box is very similar in size to the five, which I, I think is a good thing. And then also this like stretchy mesh area. This was also in the five where in the old versions, it was a big piece of kind of plastic that just sat there. They updated it and now it's a much more functional versus a design, I'd say, decision. And this is stretchy, so it allows a little bit of breathing room out of here, I'd say for kind of getting heat out, uh, but also um, allows the just this kind of toe box area to flex a little bit um, and, and give your toes some room to wiggle. There's a handle on the back to pull your shoe in. Probably don't need it much with this big wing here in the back, um, but that's there. It is a little bit knocked down uh, from, from the previous version. Might be hard to tell from this video, but this is definitely a little bit shorter and not quite as pronounced, which is also a nice update. And then lastly, standard stuff here, toe box is around the toes itself, sort of lightly reinforced with this overlay uh, and then very much a, a, a strong, as I would say, uh, apex here of the shoe. Wraps up from the midsole and provides some protection from, from kicking things. So overall, right, I think when you look at the three of these things together, the six, the five, and the four, you're getting back to, I think, what the Speed Goat is most known for, which is a locked-in feel. In closing, I think the Speed Goat moved back or pretty darn close to where it was with the four. So all that stuff that happened in the five with kind of that stretchy upper that didn't lock your foot down, that has been recognized, that has been adjusted. There's the internal cage that's inside here that, that locks your foot down. The upper material is far less stretchy than on that version. So when you're thinking about the speed goat, you're thinking about hammering down hills and going across rugged terrain, this locks your foot in considerably better than that previous version. And again, much closer to, I'd say the two, the three and the four of this shoe. So kind of getting back to, to the roots, if you will, of it. The difference is, is that it's got a firmer midsole and there's just no denying it. This is a firmer sort of springier type of feel. And that's got its pros and its cons. If, if I'm running on the road, I, I, I might want that. If I'm kind of going over repetitive terrain over and over and over again. It definitely is not as forgiving and as soft as the previous version. And really when you compare it to something like the Mafate Speed 5, which I'd say these shoes kind of fill a similar space as it relates to that, the Mafate Speed is, is softer. 
So you've got an option here, I think, which is the good news. If you want a softer, kind of more generous overall fit, the Mafate Speed fills that. If you want something a little firmer, a little more athletic, a little tighter package overall, the Speed Goat is, is gonna fill into that. So with that said, questions, comments, are you excited about this new Speed Goat? Did the previous version of the Speed Goat, the five, is that something that you really liked and, and you'd like that more kind of generous and, and loose fit? Or again, back to this bit of a tighter package. Leave questions, comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.